Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoyed this total body workout, along with scriptures on the importance of prayer. You will only need a set of weights. So let's go ahead and get started with the warm up. Let's do some hamstring curls and move those arms, flex those feet, and keep that belly in. Let's go elbow, knee, and front, just cross over. Instead of worrying, pray and let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers. Let's go back to those hamstring curls, letting God know your concerns. Just let him know what they are and just pray about it. Go back to the elbow to the knee. Again, keeping that core engaged. Just a few more of these. All right, let's go ahead and grab a set of weights and we're going into a squat in a double swing front. So go ahead and squat down and swing those weights out in front of you. God's word says, pray all the time. Pray without ceasing, right? How do you do that? Just keep God in your mind. Talk to him about everything that you're doing as you're driving, as you're having conversations with people, just let him in, right? Let him into every single detail of your life and pray with him, have conversations with him throughout the day. And then, you know, sometimes I'm in my car and I just talk out loud. I talk out my thoughts with the Lord and then I listen and I pray more. One more, this next one, we're going down to the floor into a plank. So engage your powerhouse muscles, bring those legs back behind you, and you can go modified if you want in a kneeling position and tap your shoulder, okay? Or you can fully extend those legs out there. Did you know that the Holy Spirit prays for us? Did you know that? With groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And then that's pretty neat to know that the Holy Spirit prays for us. All right, so you're tapping, you're alternating, tapping each shoulder or you're just holding your plank. And I need you to breathe here. Breathe deep from your diaphragm. We need a lot of oxygen and just stay focused here, keeping those hips down. Last one, let's walk back and up. We're going into some low impact cardio. So just bring your elbow to your knee, just cross it over in front of you. And you can hop through this one if you want. You can jog, whatever you wanna do. When you pray, listen to this, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. I mean, that's one way of praying. Be private, just go into a place where you can be quiet with the Lord, where there's not a lot of noise going on. Just find that place. I don't know if you have a special place that you pray. I know um, I love being in my office in the morning or maybe just outdoors walking around and moving. Just God and me talking about the day, asking him, you know, what do you have in store for me today, Lord? All right, one more of these. Pick up your weights again. We will go back to that double swing. So set your feet in a squat position, go down and swing those weights to the front. The prayer of a righteous person. Listen to this one. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working, all right? It's real important that we pray and that we intercede for others. We pray for each other. And we don't even have to tell people about that. I'm sure that you pray for people and they don't even know. And I've done that before and I've seen a change. And I'm thankful that people pray for me 
Um, I'm thankful that my husband forgives me and prays for me. My friends pray for me. I'm thankful that you pray for me and um, I am praying for you as well. One more, place those weights back down. We are going back to that plank. So if you need a breather here, take it. Bringing those hands out there underneath the shoulders. Knees down if you want to modify or hold the plank. This one, instead of tapping, we're just holding, okay? If you want to go back to that tap, that's fine. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find and knock and the door will be open to you. And those are some encouraging words. Seek the Lord with all your heart, your mind, your body, your spirit, and knock, and the door will be open to you. All right, how are you feeling in this plank? We're almost finished with it. And again, if you need a break, you take a break, okay? Let's come out of it. We're going back up to the floor, to that low impact cardio, and bring the elbows across the body, elbow knee. Call to me and I will answer you. And I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Have you called upon the Lord and asked him to show you those things that you don't know yet? Because there are things that we don't know, those great and mighty things. So ask the Lord, Lord, show me today what only you can show me. Enlighten my heart and my mind. Help me, Father, to understand. Grant me discernment, Father. How's your heart rate in this one? Even though it's low impact, that heart rate is going up. I feel mine going up. Just keep it going, real consistent. Stay strong with it. All right, four more. Last one. Nice work. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies on Shape by Faith. Go ahead and hinge forward from the hips, go into a deadlift, come up, front raise, and then lateral raise. Let's do that again, deadlift, stay back in the heels, come on up, go front and lateral. Let's just continue doing that. Keep watch and pray so that you will not give in to temptation for the spirit is so willing, isn't that so true? But the body is weak. So that tells us that we've got to continue praying and praying all the time. You know, our body, our flesh is weak. The flesh doesn't always want to do the right thing, but the spirit of the Lord within us definitely does. So listen to the spirit of the Lord within you. One more deadlift, inhale as you lower, and then front raise and lateral raise. We're going back to that plank again. Do you like that? <laughs> I thought we should do a lot of planks um, in this show. So let's go back and we're going up into a pike position. So let's go up and touch one leg, just cross over and then the same thing, alternating arms. Be alert and always keep on praying for people all over the world, the Lord's people. Be alert. Keep watch and pray. Isn't that good? Simple, are we doing it? Lord, help us to be prayer warriors for you. How are you doing with the plank and the pike? I like it because it incorporates a lot of stretching in this one. Last one, very nice. Let's go all the way up to a standing position. So on this one, we're going into a lateral lunge and then a jumping jack, okay? So step out laterally, go back to center, and then jack, and then opposite leg, and then a low jack if you want. I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Let me show you the modified jack. So two legs go out, then lateral lunge, and again, here's modified right here. Then go back to the lateral 
and then you can bring it up if you want. You have to move at your pace in a way that's good for your body today, right? Lateral lunge, and last one. Let's go back to that deadlift. So grab your weights, position your feet kind of close, stay back in the heels, keep the belly in, and hinge forward. Come on up, front raise, and then lateral. And let's just continue with that, okay? So we're working definitely lower body. We're working a lot of the shoulders with the front and the lateral raise and those hamstrings, the back of your legs, they're getting a really nice stretch as you hinge forward. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, right? Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's a perfect prayer because Jesus taught his disciples how to pray. And that's an amazing example of how to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. One more. Front raise, and then bring them out laterally. We're going back to that plank, okay? In that pike position where you alternate your arms. You can also just stay down in a plank if you want. And you can modify on the knees, okay? So I'm going up into a plank and then I'm going back. There is only one God, right? And one mediator, right? Who can reconcile God and humanity, okay? And that is Jesus Christ. Let's come on up, pike. And again, you're crossing that arm. So you're taking your time on this one. You're feeling the stretch and you're feeling the strength all at the same time. It's a strong exercise, it really is. And this is our last one. And let's go all the way back up to standing. We're going back to the lateral lunge. So step out, let me show you the modified jack. Both legs go out and lateral lunge, same thing right here. The Lord hears his people. Did you know that? The Lord hears you when you call to him for help. He really does. I don't know how that works. It's hard to wrap my brain around that. God hears all of us though when we pray because he is God, right? Going up a little higher in the jack, going out into that lateral lunge, staying back in the heel. And notice that heart rate is slightly increasing here. And you can also modify. Last one, grab your weights again. All right, deadlift, you ready for this one? Position your feet where they should be, really close. Pull the belly in, hinge from your hips. So inhale and then bring your arms front and then out to the side. Let's do that again. Where are you feeling this in your body? Like contract those arm muscles and legs. Devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart, right? This whole show has been about praying. And um, there are so many scripture verses that point to the importance of prayer. So I'm hoping we are all motivated to continue praying. Don't give up. Keep praying. The word of the Lord says that God hears all of us when we pray. Front raise and lateral. One more time. Bring those weights to the front and then bring them out to the side. You did so good. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies on Shaped by Faith. Let's go ahead and do some curtsies with tricep kickbacks. Just take your time with this one. Stay back so you don't bother your knees. Engage your powerhouse. You know, Jesus was always, always telling his disciples stories that would show them that they should always pray. And aren't we so thankful that they did? 
and that they stayed faithful to Jesus Christ. I mean, they were world changers, right? All right, keep moving. Shoulders stay down. Core stays engaged. Again, working the triceps and working those legs and feeling that strong in your core. And one more of these. Let's go down to the floor and let's do the butterfly sit up. That one is a fun one and it's great for stretching your body at the same time. So legs go up into a tabletop position, hands go back behind the head. As you crunch up, elbows go in, knees go out, and those feet stay together. The word says that we can ask whatever you ask for in prayer, you will receive, right? And the word goes on to say, if you have faith, so if you have faith, you're going to ask for those things that are the Lord's desires for your life, right? Because if you have that strong faith, you know the desires should line up with the Lord's desires. So have faith and ask, right? One more. Let's make our way up to a standing position. And so on this one, we're going two-step and modified jack, two-step and modified jack, or shuffle and two jacks and shuffle step and two. Here's your modification, two-step. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who hurt you. Let's work on that together, right? Bless those who curse you, who talk about you, right? Pray for them. The word says to pray for them. That's God's word. He will bless you as you do that. His word promises. Just bless them, all right? It's going to be okay. God is gonna work it all out so that he gets the glory and that things get worked out in your life. Last one. All right, take one weight. This is a sumo squat. So it's really wide. Your toes are out. You're gonna take one weight, almost like you're going to tap the floor, bring it up and go into a tricep extension over the head. Where two or three are gathered in his name, there he is with them. Jesus is right here with us. We are gathered together, right? Uh, virtually, we really are. And we're praying together and we're working out together. And God is right here in the midst of us. Praise God. Don't you feel his presence and his peace, his strength? Let's do that one more time. Sumo and tricep. Let's go back to that butterfly sit up, going back to the floor. Remember, start in that tabletop position. Legs are up, hands are easy back behind the head, feet stay together, crunch, and then bring the knees out. Really trying to maintain tabletop here. Try not to bring your knees too close to you. You want your core to do a lot of this work, okay? So keep those legs out. Let us come boldly, right? Come boldly to the throne of grace. Go to the Lord boldly. That's what the word says. You know, everything we should be praying about. Don't think that the Lord doesn't wanna hear your prayer or hear about your day. He does. He wants to be a part of every single thing that you do. One more. Let's go back up to the floor. How are you doing so far? Two step and touch down. How about that one? Two step and touch down. Or lateral shuffle and touch down, okay? The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayer of the righteous. Again, you can slow this down. You can do a two-step. So let's do that and tap 
or just reach. Like if you don't want to tap on the floor, it's really no big deal, okay? But if you can, I want you to take the extra effort and do that, all right? So a little shuffle, tap down, and again, let's do that two-step modified. Last one, good job. Okay, one weight. We're going back to the tricep swing. So go ahead and bring the weight through and up. Again, bring it through and up. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them and will forgive their sin and heal their land. That's the word of the Lord. I hear that one a lot in my mind and in my heart. Lord, please heal our land, heal our hearts. Help us, Lord, to bring glory and honor back to you and to you alone. All right, one more. Good job. All right, so coming up next, more inspiration on Shaped by Faith. In this one, we're going to alternate the front and reverse lunge with some biceps. So go ahead, step out front, same leg, bring it back. Same thing, opposite leg front and then back. So alternate those legs. The Lord is near to all who call on Him. The Lord is near to you as you call on Him and you can feel His presence. You can feel His Holy Spirit as your heart cries out to Him. I mean, just get alone with Him. Maybe it's early in the morning. Maybe it's late at night when you're by yourself. Just get alone with Him and pray and cry out to the Lord. And I promise you, you're going to experience His presence and His nearness to you. All right, we are going into low impact cardio. So go ahead and bring your elbow to your knee. Just bring it across, inhaling and exhaling. Pray without ceasing. And as we do that, give thanks in everything, in all your circumstances. So pray all the time and thank the Lord. And just say, Lord, I know today's going to be a good day, regardless of what I'm facing, because your peace is guarding my heart. And your Holy Spirit goes with me. And I know that you will give me what I need in every single moment and situation. That's good news. All right, one more each leg. Grab a set of weights. We're going into a bent reverse fly. So go into a smaller squat, keep your feet close together, and then sit back in your hips and bring those arms out. Just bring them out there. If we confess our sins, and we should be doing that, right? He is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let me tell you something. Once you ask God to forgive you, you're forgiven. Don't think you're not. Don't live in guilt and shame. Just ask God to forgive you and let it go. All right, that condemnation and that guilt, they're not from the Lord, okay? So I would encourage you, let's all work on that. Once you ask for forgiveness, we try very hard not to do that sin again. And we let it go, right? Let's make our way to the floor. And we're going into the single leg stretch and we're using some weights, but you don't have to use weights if you don't want to. So we're on the floor, we're starting the legs here. So alternate, modified legs or high. Bring the arms out and fly. 
If you wanted to flex up, you could. In my distress, I called to the Lord. I cried to God for help. I cannot tell you how many times I've called upon the name of the Lord when I've been in distress or in a situation and I didn't know what to do. God helped me and he gave me courage and strength and peace in that moment. All right, one more of these. Good, and place those feet down. Let's make our way back up. On this one, we're alternating our lunges again, all right, with some biceps. So front lunge and reverse, switch out those legs. Each morning, each morning, I bring my request, my prayers to you, O oh Lord. And I wait, listen to this word, expectantly, okay? You can expect great things for the Lord because he is God and he is almighty. So be expectant, right? Don't be down and out. Don't be distressed. Be expectant of good things to come. One more on that opposite leg. Nice. Put one weight down. We're gonna do a squat, chop. So position your feet, go down into a squat, chop the weight down, and then rotate to one side. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. And his ears, his ears are open to their prayer. Feeling this in the legs and in the core, the obliques. Breathe, don't you feel good today knowing that God hears our prayers? I think we each need to remind ourselves of that and read that in his word. And be expectant as we pray. His word says to be expectant. So that's what we're gonna do. One more each direction. Last one and bring it in. I really hope you enjoyed that workout. I did and I'm so glad you did it with me. So thank you so much for allowing me in your home today. And I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the very best you can be as we continue exercising and praising God together. He will bless our bodies and our hearts for his purposes. It's God who made us and he breathes his Holy Spirit in us so that we can encourage others to live for him. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you, keep you safe, healthy and strong in your spirit, mind and body. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith.